He looks cute, but that's basically what keeps Disco alive. Now, he's not much of a fisherman, but Jason Matady is. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Daryl. Heat of the summer is still here, and there's still those that'll tell you that uh, you can't get much done, but you can. Well, you know, lots of times, the fish have a lot in a lot of lakes have gone deep. Uh, so you have to get out in a boat to get at them. But I'm here to tell you for both the boating angler and the shore angler, we've got this really heavy thing called the weed line around most of our lakes around here. And it generally establishes itself around that six to 12 foot mark. If you're swimming and you're getting a little deeper, sometimes it comes in as shallow as four feet and you get a little bit of weeds on your toes when you're swimming. People don't like it. Well, I'll tell you, it is critical fish habitat and it is the place to focus on at this time of year. What is it about this time of year? Well, the weed line provides critical habitat and hiding spots for all kinds of fish. Uh, so everything coming close. Oh, oh yeah, they, they, they'll live right in it. You know, the tiny minnows and, and uh, the, even the bigger pike and the walleyes. So what tends to happen is if you can get out in a boat and just troll on the outside edge of that weed line, it's kind of like the, the fish highway. And these big pike and walleyes will just lay in there and they'll wait for a bait to come flying by and they'll dart out of the weeds and just crush it. And, uh, you know, if you figure out where that weed line is, and you can tell on your fish finder, because you get these little marks going up and down, but they're not solid like fish are, as soon as you find out where it is, just get to the outside edge of it, either the inside or the outside, inside if you're fishing from shore, and you're going to have a bonanza of fish opportunities. You mentioned a boat is the best way to get at them, but let's be more specific. What's the actual best way to catch them? Well, as I say, from the boat, you have access to the outside edge. The deeper fish tend to be a little deeper, because... The water's deeper, the water's cooler. So I like to, uh, if I have the choice, I will go on a boat. And if I'm fishing for walleyes specifically, I'll start with uh, a spinning outfit. I've got a pretty crazy big outfit going on here now. Uh, it's a bottom bouncer device that you can see here. It's a big weight in front, and it runs on a line. You basically drop it down, troll that along, and a tiny spinner here that spins around. So you can put like a worm on the end of that and uh, really clean up the walleyes and the pike too. But if you're looking for pike and bigger predators, I like going with this one, which I've showed before. This is your standard rappel crankbait. This one uh, you dives down to about three or four feet so you can kind of clip the top edge of the weed lines, but the fish will come out and, and hit those. And also some deeper diving ones like this has a little bit bigger bill on it. I'm not sure if I'm putting it in the right spot for the viewers to see it or not. But a little bit smaller, you can cast this one from shore, and uh, where my thumb and forefinger are, that bigger bill helps it dive down deeper. And of course, on the inside edge of the weed line, you can always throw your standard uh, reel bait jig, you know, the, my favorite, the one with the uh, blade on it like that. Um, you can see it in the shot there. And I, I'm not hooking myself, I'm just holding it there because it doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> but uh, put a little worm or a leech on that, and you're going to catch perch, you're going to catch walleye, you're going to catch pike. Um, just know where the weeds are, figure out just how to stay on top of them so you're not pulling all the weeds back on your hook and you're going to be into the fish. You're going to be in Saskatoon this weekend teaching people a little bit more about this and, and what happens if you don't have a boat. Uh, exactly. Uh, we'll be talking weed line uh, predator tactics, if you will, in Regina on 1 o'clock. So if you're going to the game, stop at Cabela's. It's kind of on your way. And we'll uh, chat you up and get you ready for next weekend when it's another free fishing weekend that's happening right. in the province. And we're in Saskatoon on Sunday, both at 1 o'clock, both at Cabela's. So Regina, 1 o'clock Saturday, Cabela's, Saskatoon, Sunday, 1 o'clock. And to get a hold of you, if you have any more questions going forward. Go to manatiesgetfishing.com. Uh, it's an excellent resource, and we have links to our YouTube channel where we've got all of our latest video content as well. Um, and send in your direct questions to us, and we're going to help you out the best we can. That's all we got for you today. We're going to send things over to Sabine.